Happy Wednesday, everybody. How's it going? I don't know about y'all, but it is freezing here. Do you know yesterday in Memphis, it was one degree with a negative 13 wind chill. I don't know that I've ever remembered it being that cold here in Memphis. So um, the odd thing about it is we are here. We've been packing orders all week. We've been here Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, but here's the weird thing. FedEx Ground and FedEx Express can literally not get to our studio to be able to make deliveries and pickups. It's crazy, but we're here. So I thought, I want to show you, hey, Brett, I want to show you one of our new stencil designs that I'm really excited about. Now, Monday, I showed you a new stencil that I'm doing on my walls, my birds and my vines. So excited about it. I can't wait till this weather's better so that Michelle can come over and help me with my walls. I always tell somebody, if you want to paint your kitchen, you want to do your walls, when you want to do some stencils or decorate it, invite a friend, tell them. If you'll come help me do mine, I'll come help you do yours. So, um, hey, sweet Brenda. So, I am excited about this whole series of stencils that we're introducing. Friday, I'm going to show you a fabulous new stencil that we have that is damask. It's, it's got... Now, if you don't know, charcuterie boards are huge. They're just huge. I use them all the time. If we ever have friends over to entertain, I use... Uh, charcuterie boards to put everything from a cheese plate on to if I do a breakfast buffet, I will have muffins or strudels or donuts or whatever. I use, I use boards all the time in my home and my kitchen. I have a lot of them that are vintage, but then I have some that I will get at Ikea. I have some that I will get at just different little gift shops that are big. Now the one I'm getting ready to show you today, it's gargantuan. It's pretty big. But I wanna show you how you can use this stencil to be able to create some embellishments on your charcuterie boards or your boards that you're gonna be able to serve food off of and you don't have to worry about it not being food safe. A lot of people don't realize, but the chalk art is food safe. Guess why? It's made from calcium carbonate. It has chalk, it's just a chalk paste. The great thing about the fact that I love with our chalk paste is the fact that our chalk art is the fact that you're able to use it and then you can wash it off and then you can have your surface clean and then you can do it all over again. Hey Angie, hey girls. So here's the deal. If you've never watched me do a live, I will always give away whatever it is that I'm showing. If you just share the video. So we always say that sharing is caring. So this is a really, can you see it? I love that it has the detail at the bottom, but look at this. It's a really big stencil. It's got borders and things on it. And it's done in such a way that it allows you to be able to flip it, which is what I'm gonna show you today, how you can flip it and create this gorgeous circle. Now, as with all the stencils, think about all the different things that you can use it on. And that's the beauty of the products here at a Maker Studio is the fact that you can use it with chalk art, you can use it with a gel stain, you can use it with the inks, you can, you can make a great tote bag out of this, this would be a great pillow, this would be something that you could do on a dresser. Now I tell people all the time, I love Ikea hacks. And you can go to Ikea and you can get those raw pieces of furniture that are just these blocky um, drawers. Usually they're four drawers and they're fairly inexpensive. Take those ugly knobs off of those things and stain it with a gel stain, and then come back. Um, the gel stain will give that kind of raw furniture a really pretty look, and then come back with this and do it in the chalk art or the ink in white, or even do it in a darker stain. So the whole point of this stencil is to make it look like a Moroccan ivory or wood inlay. That's the whole point of this in this detail. Thank you, Adrian, for sharing. Thank you, sharing is caring. Okay, so, the cool thing about it is, if you're not familiar with the stencils here at Maker Studio, they're adhesive. So they have an adhesive back. It's gonna stick on what it is that you're working on. And I have a charcuterie board here that I'm gonna be showing you how to be able to do it. And it's so, so easy. And part of, part of why I do these is because I want you to go, I never thought about that. A lot of people are like, is this permanent? How come this isn't permanent? No, it's not permanent. The whole point is that it's like chalk. It allows you to be able to decorate something and be able to make it really special and then wipe it off and then do it again. 
So when you're creating a charcuterie board, you can make this, I could make a birthday board and then have cupcakes all over it. Um, I wanted to be able to show you how to be able to take this brand new design and make a charcuterie board design out of it. And then when I'm finished using it, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna wipe it off with soap and water in my sink, just like I do with all my dishes. And then I've got a clean slate again to be able to use it for something else. Now, if you're like, but Amy, I love it. I wanna be able to make the chalk art permanent. How do I do that? So that's really easy. You're gonna use this mat sealer. If you wanna make your chalk art permanent, we do have this on a Maker Studio website. You can just get the mat sealer, but don't brush it on. Don't brush it on with a, um, uh, a brush because it will affect the chalk art. You wanna roll it on. We have these high density rollers and you will want to roll on the mat sealer. But here's the deal. I like the fact that I can use it, enjoy it, wipe it off, and then have my board to be able to do something totally different. Don't you love that idea? Thanks for the love. Thanks, guys. All right, so I'm going to turn this down. I want to be able to show you what it is that I'm doing. And again, this is a gargantuan. Um, thank you, Theo. Um, this is a gargantuan. Um, charcuterie board. It's really, really long and I love it because it allows me to be able to put so much stuff on it. So what we're going over today is the fact that you can use this brand new stencil and it, yes, Leslie, that's the great thing. The chalk art is food safe. It's calcium carbonate. So it's food safe. You can set your food on top of it, but then when you're finished, you just clean off the board with soap and water. So Brent, you, you just need to meet Theo in real life. He is a gentle giant. He's the most precious puppy. Um, he's our therapy dog here at the office. So um, tell me, this will be a fun thing. Tell me where, where you are coming in from and what's the temperature in your city today? Is, are y'all like us? I mean, like, I think the Southeast is like, um, is like shut down. It's, it's so funny. Last night, um, I had told Gene Howard on Sunday, I said, babe, it's, we're getting ready to have a snowstorm. We need to stock up on food. And he goes, we are fine. We are totally fine. We don't need food. We've got plenty. I'll go buy Whole Foods tomorrow and I'll get some stuff. Last night, he was totally freaking out because I was like, we have no food. And so he said, I'm going I'm to go. And do you know that Kroger's was closed? Whole Foods was closed. Chick-fil-A was closed. There were no grocery stores. Uh, um, Fresh Market, he went to every single store. They were all closed. Walgreens was closed. Ride 8 was cold and closed. So it was like the Armageddon had taken place and everything was closed and Gene was freaking out. So he was at the grocery store at 8 o'clock this morning. And I think we're getting six more inches today. So it's great to be able to be inside, look on Pinterest, listen to some beautiful music, be it, read a study that you're going over, whatever. Um, so, all right, so I'm going to quit talking. 16 degrees in Illinois. So we're right there with you. You know, I've always heard about, hey, Judy, I've always heard about these people going, um, oh, it's negative three, and I'm thinking, how do people live like that? And it was, ne that, was our, that was our temperature yesterday. So stay warm, bundle up, and, um, and let's just hope to goodness that FedEx, FedEx and UPS can get out and make pickups to deliver our stuff to people. This is terrible. 30s in Southern Virginia. I can put up with the 30s. Okay, all right, let's do this. So I'm gonna turn this around. Keep telling me where you're popping in from and, um, and share this video. And then that way your name will go on for a drawing. We'll be giving this away. We can still give stuff away even though we're snowed in. All right, so I'm gonna turn this down. So here's my board. It's really big, and I love it because it's so oversized. This thing is probably probably four and a half feet long. And so it's got a handle on it. I'm not worried about the handle. I'm wanting to be able to create this area to where it's decorative because my food's going to be prettier on it. I don't have to worry about it because the chalk art is food safe. And so I'm going to take, if you're familiar with our stencils, they're adhesive. So I'm going to take the backing off. You can tell I've been playing. I've got stuff all over my hands. I don't, I, I'm so happy when I'm, when I'm out here being able to just kind of be creative. So I'm gonna pull this off. This is a really large stencil. All the new ones that we introduced are fairly large. Minimum size is 12 by 18. So it allows you to be able to really do some interesting projects. Look at this. Isn't that just yummy? All right, so I took that off and I'm gonna place that 
on my board. Now, I like the idea of having a border all the way around it. And if you've got a smaller board and you're like, well, Amy, I don't have one that big. That's the cool thing about this stencil. You can take this area right here and then this border that I created on the long side and create this a border around it. But if you've got a larger surface area, like a drawer, use this. You can even use half of it. So you can cut these down to size if you want. If I was gonna do an Ikea hack and do that four drawer chest, this will fit perfectly on it. You'll be able to take this border all the way around the drawers. And if I was gonna do the cabinet piece, I would, I would probably do it in the stain and the gel ink. All right, so I'm gonna lay this down this way. Let me see if I can move this down so that way you can see. And I'm gonna line it up to where my border is gonna be centered. Uh-oh. I'm gonna line it up here. It's kind of hard sometimes to sit down. I don't know about y'all, but I'm, when I'm working on stuff, it's almost like I just need to stand up. I'm gonna move this over just a little kind of center it. I can tell I've got, I've got more room over on this side. I really need to get a ruler so I can make sure that that's even. All right, so I'm gonna use this border that's going all the way around. If you're just now popping on, hello, my name is Amy Howard and I am with a Maker Studio. And I'm showing you a brand new Moroccan influence stencil that we have that's great for furniture, but I am using it on my oversized charcuterie board and I'm gonna be using my chalk art. This is a white chalk art. The name of it is I Reckon. Um, it's so funny and y'all can help me. Um, I was telling Jean on the way here about somebody um, had posted their Cavalier King Charles were having a hissy fit and we were joking, saying Southern dogs have hissy fits. And I said, I can't remember if I named a chalk art hissy fit, but if I didn't, I need to. Because I love using these um, Southern sayings. And yes, we say things like, I reckon. Those of you who are our friends in Canada and, um, and the Northeast and out West, when y'all are thinking, do they really talk like that? Yes, we do. We say things like, I reckon and hissy fit. And I don't know, it's just kind of fun. You'll have to forgive us and laugh at us at the same time. All right, so I'm gonna cut down my spreader. And again, if you're just now watching this, um, this, I reckon, chalk art is food safe. It's made out of calcium carbonate, and the great thing about it is it will completely wash off of your surface when you're finished. So when you're washing all your dishes after your gathering, whether it's a family gathering or you're having a fancy schmancy party, you can just um, wipe it off with soap and water, and then that way you've got a clean surface, and you can do it all over again. So I'm gonna lay this down like this. Now, I will say, when you're working with chalk art too, you wanna work, make sure that you're working fairly quickly, because the chalk will have a tendency to dry in the mesh. Now, is it permanently dried? Absolutely not, you can wash it out, because this is something that you can clean with soap and water. Now, you'll notice I've got two borders here. I don't want that outside border. That's if I was working on something else. I've already got a border here. If I get some on there, I'm not gonna freak out because guess what? I can just take a wet rag and wipe it off. So part of what I'm showing you today is the fact that I love customizing my charcuterie boards when I entertain. Now, I'm just gonna tell you, one of the things that we do as a family, we don't really cook cakes a whole lot anymore. We do cupcakes. And I always try to find cute stuff to put cupcakes on. I have lacquered glass, I've done all kinds of stuff, but what a cute background to have some strudels or some muffins or cupcakes or even your cheese or whatever on it. This is so fun. The chalk art's gonna dry fairly quickly. Now, I'm gonna come back once you look. I'm turning my scraper at a 45 degree angle and I am really coming back and scraping a lot of that. Look at that. So I'm just gonna put that back in my container like that. And then let me check. I've got just a few holidays. I wanna make sure that I get all that up. If I've got some excess, I'm not gonna worry about it because I can just wipe it up with soap and water. 
it's it's very um, very forgiving. Now look at this. Is this the cutest? Look, guys. Is that the cutest? Is this the cutest cutest board now for you to be able to put your cu your cupcakes, your um, your cheese, whatever on? Is it the cutest? Now let me show you. So I'm gonna flip it. I am. I get so excited. It's so funny. And sometimes when I'm on a Facebook Live and I'm doing it with y'all and I'm like. I'm not supposed to get real excited, but I do because I'm, I'm just like y'all. There's something really scary about doing it. Like, I'm going to mess it up. I want to get this fairly close, and then I'm going to kind of make that stick. Are y'all loving this? Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. I lo and I love having different influences. Fab. A woman after my own heart. I use that word so much. It's just part of my life. Fab. That's so fab. So, so fab. All right, I'm trying to make sure that's lined up. Now, so I'm gonna load this back up in here. Again, I need to work fairly quickly because this chalk art will dry in my stencil. I probably, normally, I will um, I'll clean them out before I do this, but just strictly for the sake of time, I thought, can I cheat? Because if the chalk art dries in your mesh, you wanna just make sure you get it out before you kind of go to this because you don't want to have it to where you didn't get a good transfer. But I love the details on it. So pretty. And then that way when I get down to the other end, because it's about four and a half feet long, I can just flip it again. So I'm gonna have a mirror image of two of these designs. Isn't it fab? You know, the other thing is I plan on getting a piece of furniture and doing this on the drawers because I love just very inexpensive pieces of furniture that you can get like at Ikea and do it where it looks like it's got this inlay. Now here's the fun, fun, fun thing is the, um, I have done them like in navy blue. You can get the Amy Howard at Home one-step paint. You can paint a piece of furniture in like a dark blue and then come back either with the one-step paint you can use the chalk art or you can use the ink on furniture and do it in white. And so that way it looks like um, ivory inlay. That was kind of the whole purpose of this, this design is I wanted you to be able to have something that looked like it had inlay on it. Now there again, see, I've got two borders here. I want to stay away from that. But if you're popping on, this is going to be my charcuterie board that I wanted to add a pretty detail to because it's easy. You can do it and the chalk art is food safe. All right, now it's starting to dry in there. I've got to be careful. I'm going to have to come back. I can tell some of this dried, but I'd be better off to let it dry first. And then I can come back and add some more. Isn't that pretty? So, so pretty. Now I need to um, come back. Look at that. I want to lift this up so that way you can see some of the detail. This might just be the most beautiful charcuterie board ever. Look at this. Can you see the detail in that fab? So fab, so easy. And it's gonna be something that if you want to be able to seal it, here's the deal. If you wanna be able to seal it, all you have to do is come back, use a high density roller and use the matte sealer. I don't wanna seal this because um, I just like the idea of using this and being able to wash it off and then do a totally different design the next time I be, I'm using my charcuterie boards or whatever. You know, if you're not using it, here's a question. If you're not using it for cheese, is it still called a charcuterie board? If I'm using it for muffins and for donuts and things to be able to lay it out on, is it still called a charcuterie board or is it called a muffin board? So um, thank you, Kendra. Thank you. And who was it? Somebody was saying, yes, let me say this. Um, they were saying they see this on a door. This design, this would absolutely be beautiful etched. You could use this on some cabinet doors and etch it. Oh my gosh, don't you see it? All these little bitty um, details. And so if you've got a cupboard that you're painting and you wanna be able to do the panels in etched glass, this is definitely, this is a go-to. Thanks, Michelle. Thank you so much. Go to. So anyway, I hope you love, I hope you love my new um, Moroccan-inspired um, stencil. 
and the ability now that you can take this and do it on a lot of different projects. I've got to go back and fix mine and be able to go back in and clean it up. And if I want to seal it, I can, but I'm going to turn around on the rest of my board. I'm going to lay this down here and then flip it again so that way my design is going to go all the way down in. Isn't that fab? Love it. Now, I'm just going to tell you, when somebody comes over to your house and they see this, they're going to go, where did you get this? And go, it's just some um, chalk art and I can wipe it off when I'm finished. And then that way I can make it look, um, I can make it look totally different the next time. Yes, Michelle, it looks like inlay. That was kind of the whole point of being able to do it is that it looks like inlay. It's fab. Anyway, so hope this was fun. Um, I want you to be able to think about all the things that you can use it on. Yes, you can definitely use it on etching. You can use it with paint. You can go get it on an Ikea piece. This is a great stencil to be able to use on anything. Um, you can use it on platters. It, it's going to it's endless. So that was part of why I was so excited about introducing, yes, bragging rights. You're absolutely right. And the fact that it's food safe is amazing. And the fact that we can wipe it off and that we can do something totally different next time. Makes it a lot more fun. So thank you for sharing this video. Sharing is caring. Please stay safe and warm, everybody. For all of our friends in Texas, um, we are praying for you. And we are praying that they get the electricity fixed so that you are nice and warm. And I know you maybe not be watching this now, but know that there are people all over the place um, that are praying um, Godspeed for you, that they would get that fixed so your families are safe and um, that you can get to places that are, that are nice and warm. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you're watching this later, please do hashtag replay. Tell me where you're watching in from and then share this video and your name will go in for a drawing day after tomorrow where we're gonna actually be giving it away. Have a great day, everybody. Stay warm. Bye-bye.